Welcome to episode four, part two, continuing with genres. All right, we're going to pick up from where we left off last week. Last week we did classical or orchestral and jazz as genres. This week we're going to finish it off and turn to rock, pop, or electronic, and Latin. So let's get started. Rock. The ballroom dances most associated with rock music are our swing dances, East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, and Jive. Rock has a backbeat, not unlike jazz. It very often includes simpler, but more pronounced percussion, and guitars and bass are the primary instruments. The chords are usually simpler than jazz as well. Here are three versions of Carry Me Back to Old Virginia. The first version is a folk version. Carry me back to old Virginia There's where the cotton and the corn and taters grow the second is a jazz version. And the third is a rock version. Harry, back to old Virginia. That's where the cotton and the corn and the tail grow. Can you hear the differences in instrumentation and rhythm? Next, we have pop or electronic music. Hustle is the primary one of this, but all the other ballroom dances can be done to pop music. It's the most difficult genre to describe. I use it here to describe music that appeared in the late 70s and early 80s, when musicians were experimenting with drum machines and synthesizers. The percussion is usually quite minimal and repetitive, and the instrumentation and vocals are often heavily modified in post-production. They are sometimes called club music or dance music, and today it's most closely expressed in electronic dance music, or EDM. One common rhythm pattern is four to the floor, where all four beats in the measure get equal emphasis. This is especially good for hustle, since the and one steps in syncopated hustle move around the measure. The rhythmic Sweet Dreams is a good example of this. It's very common in Europop as well. Here is in Avicii's Wake Me Up. Rather than syncopate like jazz, it's common in this genre to syncopate by building up the percussion from none to one per beat and then doubling it and doubling it again just before the drop. Here's an example from the Black Eyed Peas. And I owe it all to you. Dirty bit. Unfortunately, this can make the music difficult to dance to because the beat drops out for too many measures. But this is only one rhythm pattern. Pop music is possibly the most versatile genre, and there are pop waltzes, pop foxtrots, pop swings, among others. Pop cha-chas are particularly common because much pop music is in that middle tempo range, and it's rhythm dominant, and it has a more even tempo than swing. In fact, most of Lady Gaga's hits from her first album are very good cha-chas, Paparazzi, Just Dance, Poker Face, Bad Romance, and Telephone are all exactly the same tempo at 30 measures per minute. Perfect for cha-cha. Last, but clearly not least, we have Latin. Our Latin ballroom dances, or couple dances, are rumba, cha-cha, salsa or mambo, merengue, and samba. Bachata, as well. The most obvious features of Latin music is the complexity and prominence of the percussion section. The standard rock band has one percussionist, the drummer, who often takes a literal backseat to the rest of the band, maybe getting a drum solo here or there. But Latin is quite different. In fact, here's a piece that is performed by a group made up of all percussion instruments, nine in all. I'll put a link to the video in the description. I just love how it builds from just the clave, to the guero, to the shaker, and so on, slowly layering one percussion on top of another.
have whole episodes on Latin rhythm, so we'll just say for now that Latin music will be more complex rhythmically and use Latin instruments. Here's an example of a piece that has been Latinized. First, the original. Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. Yes, that's Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. And here's the Latin version. Baby, do so obviously the tempo is increased considerably, but also the instrumentation has cowbell, conga, bongo, horns, etc. All common Latin instrumentation. It even starts in Spanish. How about one more before we go? Here's the original. Note the standard rock instrumentation of a drum kit and electric guitars, and here's the rumba cover. Quite a difference. Okay, that's all for this episode. Uh, I'm going to do one more in this series, which will be a short one on the differences and similarities of American and international dancing and music. See you next time as we wrap up this first series. <laughs>